The past few years, Republic of China, Taiwan, and Canada really enjoys very cordial, very close relations and cooperations. We have the youth mobility from 200 people at first, and then opened up for application. It went out in minutes. It's so popular, so it went up to 700 people, and then eventually 1,000. It's a very popular program. And the visa waiver status, November, I mean, November 2010, we got it from Canada. And since then, our tourists coming to Canada increase 18% every year. And talking about the aviation, new aviation pact was done last year, November. Now the non-stop flights from Taiwan to Vancouver and uh, Toronto it's uh, from 13 flights to 17 flights a week. It's going to be 21 flights next year. And early this year, you know, we resolved the uh, boning beef import issue from Canada. And I checked with my colleagues, and this is very significant. The beef import from Canada, I think this year, the first seven months, the total volume is already over the level last year. So we are doing very well with Canadian beef in Taiwan. And you know what? Canada pork to Taiwan is actually 60% of the import market of pork. So we are very important uh, uh, trade in agriculture as well. But our roadmap with Canada is avoid double taxation agreement, hope to sign this as soon as possible, and launch FIPA, Foreign Investment Protection Agreement, as soon as possible. And the ECA, the trade agreement, and the TPP, that's the, our roadmap. President Ma received Eisenhower Medallion Award recently from People to People International. So put it, President Ma on the list of uh, President Ronald Reagan, George Bush, Jimmy Carter, Nelson Mandela, and Mother Teresa. I think we continue to play a very important role in the world communities. We want to be a peacemaker, provider of humanitarian aid. We want to be a promoter of cultural exchange, 
We want to be creator of new technology and business opportunity. And we also want to be the navigation of traditional Chinese culture. I think Canada and Republic of China, Taiwan, we have a lot of uh, common values to share. Freedom, democracy, human rights, the universal values. So that's why you are here tonight. Thank you very much. This is a strong, tangible proof of Canada's friendship with the people of Taiwan. We love the Taiwanese people. We share the same values. Now that Taiwanese can come to Canada with no visa, you're welcome. And now that Canadians can sell the world's best, best beef to Taiwan, we have no more irritants in this relationship. Aucun irritant dans les, dans les relations bilaterales. All we have is forward-looking, positive opportunity for shared prosperity based on the common values of freedom, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. And we are here tonight, Your Excellency, because we believe that the people of Taiwan represent a shining example of democracy in Asia, yes, of Chinese democracy. We wish, nous, nous souhaitons uh, plusieurs années à venir d'amitié entre le Canada et le Taiwan. Vivre le Taiwan, vive le Canada. Merci beaucoup. I would also like to uh, talk about President Ma just for a moment uh, because uh, he, he received the Eisenhower Award for his contributions to regional peace and stability just last month. This is a very important award and uh, demonstrates the leadership that Taiwan has been providing in uh, Asia. So with that, I'll keep my remarks very brief. Happy birthday, Taiwan, and uh, very uh, nice and congratulations with our new representative, a good friend and a pretty good golfer as well. I also want to recognize his receipt of the prestigious Eisenhower Medallion for promoting regional peace and peaceful conflict resolution. I know that when I was there, what, one of the things that impressed me the most about President Ma was that he had taken internationally recognized human rights legislation and made it into domestic law. And that is so very important, and I was very proud of that. Uh, Taiwan serves as a shining example of what a society can become when, as my colleague Minister Kenny said, uh, peace, freedom, democracy are allowed to flourish. We have much in common, of course. Uh, small medium enterprises are the lifeblood of both our economies, creating about 90% of business, and we are both uh, importers and exporters and thrive on mutual respect. We want to sincerely thank you and your administration for the welcoming that you have extended to all of us here this evening. We're indeed very honored and proud to be part of this celebration. 101 three years uh, celebration is something that uh, we all recognize as a very, very powerful message about the commitment, the dedication, the perseverance of the Taiwanese people. And in this context, we're very, very pleased, honored to have you and uh, the community here, the Taiwanese community who bring us honor and prestige. Uh, I can only tell you that having been to Taiwan in my earlier life uh, with uh, the policing community, I was ever so impressed with the public safety agencies in your country, the work that they do on an international level, and the cooperation that they extend internationally to law enforcement agencies. So thank you and please do convey our gratitude back home and thank you and we're, welc we're welcoming you obviously uh, and uh, best wishes in all your future endeavors here and thank you for uh, being a good friend to Canada. I should also note that on this, the first National Day celebration here in Ottawa for our representative, I am very pleased that Taiwanese, uh, Taiwan continues to have excellent representation here in Ottawa. 
I'm so pleased that you're here. I'm so glad that you've invited so many of us, and we look forward to a terrific relationship in the future. Thank you so much. Chi Chi. 103 years of economic development and of democracy is a major achievement. I wish you many, many more years of continued success in partnership with Canada. May we all grow on all sides, from a friendship side to tourism to economic development. We're very pleased that the Taiwan government now offers a program for members of parliament to go to Taiwan and learn a little bit of Mandarin. So thank you, Taiwan. Happy birthday, Taiwan many, many more years of peace and prosperity.